Hey YouTube, it's Adam from I'm a Music Mogul. Today's video, I'm going to show you a plugin that will not only step up your mixing game, but will step up your mastering game as well and help you achieve quality mixes. The plugin is by Mastering the Mix and it is called Levels. So I'm going to go ahead and bring that here on my master track. Now, Levels is a metering plugin, but it's a metering plugin on steroids. Now, I say that because Levels is pretty much your own personal engineer that is sitting on your shoulder listening to your track and once it sees a problem area it's gonna let you know and once you fix that problem area your tracks will sound sonically good and ready to be put out to the masses now before we dive headfirst into the plugin and know what it's all about i did want to put out a contest alert and let you know that mastering the mix will be giving away a free copy of levels to one i'm a music mogul viewer now please watch the end of the video so you find out how you can enter in the contest and win yourself a free copy of Levels. With that said guys, let's get straight to it. The first thing you want to do once you open up the plugin is open up the settings window in Levels and choose what type of session you're working in. Is it a mixing session? Is it a mastering session? In this case, it's a mixing session. So let's work with that. Second step you're going to do is go to the loudest point in your track and what is I like to do, I'm going to go to my chorus because it's usually the craziest, and I'm gonna let Levels listen to the chorus and see if there's any problematic areas. Now off the bat, our headroom has turned red from green, and when something turned red, that means there's a problem. So let's open it up and see what's going on. So what it looks like is going on, we are going over our threshold for our peak. Our threshold right now is set at minus six dBs full scale, and uh, we are hitting minus 3.8 dBs full scale, and well, let's go ahead and fix that. Easiest way to fix that is to select all of your tracks and lower it in a relative manner. So everything is being lowered relative to each other. All right, so we're good there, it's staying green. That means we're good to go. There are two sections in Headroom that you may want to meter or adjust. One that you may want to meter is the LUFS. Now I don't wanna to go too much into detail because this is a general overview. I'll do a separate tutorial on what LUFS is all about. But in general, LUFS is a metering platform that basically shows you the perceived loudness of your track. So you can meter that over here. Also, you can change your full scale DBs to a true peak DB metering. Now there is a difference between using full scale and true peak and sometimes true peak is better. Again, I'll do a separate tutorial and go into what all that is about. Again, this is just a general overview to give you an idea of what levels can offer. The next section over here is dynamic range and that's pretty self-explanatory. It's going to let you know how dynamic your track is. In music, you always want your songs to be dynamic and if it's not, well, you got some adjustments to do. Maybe it's over compressed or what have you. We're pretty green here and that's good. So Levels is not finding any issues with our dynamic range. We're not too overly compressed. It's going pretty much a bright green, so we're good to go. Now, bass weights is very important for your bass. Essentially, when you're mixing, you always wanna leave as much room for your bass as possible. Bass is very important to a record. So what we're gonna do here is Levels is telling us to mute our kick and bass tracks. So let's go ahead and mute our basses. So now that we did that, we can say we did that, hit done. And Levels is gonna analyze what's going on with our low end information that we don't really need. So we're not too bad, Levels is not throwing off any alarms, but we are kind of high over here. And if we did want to create some more space for our bass, we can do that. So we can go ahead to our piano, as that may have some low information that we don't need. So that didn't help out too much. Let's go to our next synth right here.
Also a note, you don't want to take out too much bass out of your tracks because then it might alter the sound. Just make sure you take out as much as you can without affecting the sound. Because a lot of times you do have some bass information that you don't need. Next, let's check our snare because that might actually contain a lot of low end as well that we don't need. Okay, so there we cleaned up a little bit of space for our bass. Now we can't take out all the bass because then it's going to sound weird, some of the sounds, but for now, we cleaned up as much as we can. And levels is not saying that we have problems in that area. Let's lastly, let's go to our stereo field over here, and this is going to let us know if we are in phase and if everything is kosher with our track. So let's bring in everything else. Now the wider, the more dots you have going around in the circle here, the more, the more wider your track is. So we're pretty wide here. But even though that it's so wide, we're still in phase because this little arm right here is hovering closer to the plus one. If it's going down to the minus one, that means we're not in phase. And even though we're so wide, we're not leaning to one side at all. We're pretty much even between our left and our right. Another cool thing you could do under the stereo field is you can just hit the low pass and focus in on your lows because lows, typically you want dead center. You don't want it too wide, otherwise it can cause some phasing issues. So we're in phase and we're pretty much dead center. So that means we're pretty good. Lastly, let's go ahead and click levels to bring us to the main menu and make sure that our track sounds good in mono. So we're gonna hit mono. What you're gonna do here is select a left or right to sound, to hear what your track sounds in proper mono. So in mono, we are peaking a little bit. So again, let's go ahead and lower our track a little bit. And we don't have to worry about it too much here, but. And that is levels in a nutshell. As you can see, it's a great way to sort of meter everything that's happening in your track in one plugin. It's high quality stuff here that you typically need five or six different plugins. This is all in one. And the bonus of this, that if you do have an issue, it's gonna let you know by lighting it up red. Now, in order to enter the contest to win yourself a free copy of Levels, click the link in the description box below. And there are multiple ways in which you can enter, so you can check it out there. If you do have any comments on this, you can ask me in the comment section below, guys. I'll talk to you all in the next one. Talk to you all soon. Later. Peace.